What's up, Wrath Gang? It's Wrath in the Wrath Cave. Welcome back to another video. So I'm very excited, guys, to show you my completed, fully modded Arcade 1-Up Mortal Kombat 2 Legacy Edition. Now, guys, if, if, if you're new, I appreciate you stopping and watching this video, but if you want to see the complete build-up to this final edition, uh, check out my playlist right here, and you can start from the very beginning, and I detail some big moments during the uh, journey. But guys, uh, last last week or so, I've been uh, just trying to get all these games to work with the arcade. Now, you know I'm big into uh, uh, retro gaming and, and old school arcade games, so I made them work uh, with uh, emulation. And uh, guys, it's awesome to be able to go into my arcade and have a plethora of games to choose from. It's fantastic. Now, I'm using LaunchBox, BigBox to cipher and decode and, and RetroArch to uh, manage all my games from my PC to my uh, arcade. So it works out perfectly. And uh, yeah, I'm excited, guys. So <laughs> big journey. Never thought uh, seeing this uh, arcade box at Walmart on clearance for $1.99 would lead to the, the journey in this, this this hobby all of a sudden of modding uh, uh, arcade one-up machine. And I'm very pleased with the result. I love it. It is a treat to walk down to the raft cave, turn the corner, and see Lord Raiden with all this lightning and just like, let's go, right? Old school arcade, push that button, get that joystick, slap those buttons, and just have a heck of a time. It's just awesome. So, yeah, I put a lot of time into it, guys. So I hope you enjoy the uh, the look here and we'll show so I'll show you some games and uh, some, some gameplay. So, yeah, without further ado, guys, hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe, share. Welcome to my, uh, my arcade mod. Let's get it. All right, guys, here it is. The finished product of the Raft Cave Arcade. Now this is turned off. And what I do to turn it on is I can just ask Alexa or I can ask Google. Hey Google, turn on the arcade. All right, turning the arcade on. Oh yeah, you notice the lights in the bottom glow. You got the kick plate there, glow in the blue. You got the LED lights in the coin. You got the light strip in the back going up. You got the LED buttons going, going to town there. And then you have the lit up marquee. Absolutely awesome. Now, now of course the, the padded mat, very comfortable to stand on. Notice the theme, red and blue, the red and blue. So um, at the bottom here, you know, I'm a tall guy, you know, I'm 6'3", so I need to have the height of the control deck just right when I'm standing up, and I also don't want to uh, cut off the top of the screen with the marquee, so it's got to be elevated high enough. So I'm putting my uh, arcade on some super box uh, boxes down there, I have four of them there, and I also have some of the uh, tri-grips inside the box. So the boxes will not sink in because they have tri-grips inside. There are two of them underneath the legs. And then I have the appliance riser going up there for the platform of the official riser. And then I did put, um, of course, the LED lights underneath. I did put the uh, the red uh, uh, vinyl strip to match the, uh, the outline of the arcade. So that looks really cool. Um, of course, there can be graphics put on the front and the sides maybe someday down the road right now no but maybe in the future we'll see uh, the coin up is the 3d printed uh, coin up which I just stick to the front and then I cut out some holes in the back for the LED lights to stick through yes there could be a real coin door there's a thing you could put a real coin door in there have the thing open up and you can even have one that has the real uh, quarter slots to flip the coin up on the arcade that's something you can do as well modded Got the LED strips going on the back, and I chose red for this side going up. I uh, love the marquee, or the artwork on the side. Going on the other side here, uh, we have the, uh, the LED strip on the outside as well. Now that's red. Um, I could change it to blue to match the button side, uh, but I like the red. It just casts a nice glow behind it, which is very cool. Uh, the speakers... We're not doing small little four inch speakers up up here in the, in the marquee. No, 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 no. We're going for some great sound. 
We got powered bookshelf speakers on stands, so they're right in line with the screen. Perfect stereo sound when you're standing here playing the game. Sounds amazing. Love it. And also we have two subwoofers connected to the speakers, so we have nice bass overall. It's wonderful. So looking at it from the bottom, love this uh, panel here, Mortal Kombat. This is actually the original uh, marquee from the uh, Legacy. It's not lit up, it's just a, it's just a plate here. So I uh, screwed that into there. And I kind of like this little double red blade here, edge, cool, right? Uh, the control deck is, is modified, about that separate. I uh, bought the... Uh, the amazing little dust covers here for the joysticks, those are separate. We got the LED buttons. Wonderful Senwa buttons. LED blue, wonderful bat top. And with the uh, Senwa joystick in there, and we got the red bat top Senwa joystick down there as well. We have the four pound screws put in and the octagonal gate. So they're nice and firm, feel good in the hands, good tension. And eight way as well. Awesome. You got the red buttons. Just feel good. Nice clicky clicky sound. And the LED. And then we have the start one up. We got the tokens. Then we have start for player two. Uh, it is definitely blown out. It's not this bright in real life. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's not too crazy. And uh, yeah, of course, love the artwork. Mortal Kombat 2 artwork on the control deck. Got the symbols there. It's awesome. It matches up really nice. And then we have the uh, upgraded 20-inch Dell uh, FFDB series. Made a video on that. Got the 20-inch monitor in here. We got the graphics on the outside for the 20-inch monitor. with Mortal Kombat 2 themed. Perfect. I picked this wallpaper myself. Love it. Now let's uh, check out the back. Oh, um, for volume control, guys, I have stuck the uh, remote control for the uh, bookshelf speakers so I can easily hit the volume up and down. Uh, the power is automatic. The uh, speakers will turn on automatically with the entire arcade. There's no power button there. There's no switch here. It's, just, it's all on and off with my voice through a smart power strip, which I'll show you later. Um, there's also some uh, controls on the side, bass, treble, and volume as well on the side. So, uh, oh, well, And I also uh, love the lit-up marquee, of course. It is beautiful, absolutely perfect. Its symmetry is great. There's no light bleed anywhere, and there's no, like, blooming at all. It's just a clean, balanced light coming out of this thing. It's a beautiful uh, marquee. It's perfect. And I put uh, the red the red tape on the on the outside as well. Otherwise, it's all black, and I kind of like uh, the red I put on there, so it just matches up really nice with the with the whole red outline theme of the entire arcade. Uh, the way I control uh, everything here is with the uh, Logitech keyboard. With the uh, mouse pad here, I can control everything here and start up the uh, the big box, which I'll show you in a minute here. Big box, and uh, yeah. So let's go on the outside and the back. I'll show you what's on the back. Oh, guys, before I show you the back real quick, um, I forgot to mention that I, I purchased a, a custom riser inside to raise the control board up. I don't know if you've noticed, but the uh, the standard Legacy Edition has a sunken control board, so this is exposed here. So I, I bought some uh, plates inside to raise it up, so now it's flush uh, with the outside, so it's much more comfortable to have a flat surface all the way out versus a, a big dip right here. Um, so that's awesome. And then also, all my games that you see, are running um, from an HDMI under the carpet um, over to uh, my PC. So this is my gaming PC. If you want to check out uh, my build here, link in the description up here, or link link up here if you want to check it out. Uh, but that's my gaming PC, and I have all my games and ROMs on on the uh, M2 uh, memory sticks inside there. So that's the housing, all the games for my arcade. I don't have like a retro, uh, what do you call it, Raspberry Pi or the um, well, you know, that's other thing that Pandora's box, you know, I just don't, I feel that they're not powerful enough to run all the games like say killer instinct. Um, but, um, that's why my PC is, is controlling everything here. So thanks for watching the, this continue on to the back. Let's go. 
All right, guys, so here's the back of my arcade. We have uh, my own painted Shao Kahn. Uh, this is from an old magazine back in 1995 that I copied in art class. Uh, you can actually see RTV 95. That's when I did this. And I was just sitting in my garage for so long, and I was like, you know what? Let me see the measurements, and it's just just enough where it fits in the back and I just uh, screwed it in and uh, with this back plate it's just velcro oh yeah some lights down there there's some stuff down there yeah there's a few things down there so I'll show you that tour after this here but yeah just velcro strip push it on there and it sticks just fine don't need to put any more screws to keep it fastened so that's a nice touch there. And you got the LED strips going down. I have access on the top, so I didn't want to just cut it there and not use the extra, so I just kind of looped it around so a little more light illuminating on the ceiling here. It's very cool. And uh, the outputs there I have all uh, zip tied, the wires coming out of the back, so I can lift out the, uh, the panel anytime. I could just lift it up, and take it out if I wanted to. Great. Uh, what's great thing about these uh, speakers here is uh, it has a, a 3.5 jack coming in from the uh, well I'll show you it's a, it's a HDMI audio extractor and then it has a subwoofer output a dedicated sub out uh, going in uh, to a splitter that goes to both subs and then this is the uh, the wires coming out of this speaker and then loop up to the back of this speaker so it's all tied together as a perfect design Absolutely perfect for my arcade and a beautiful sound to add to the full experience of the Raf Cave Arcade. All right, guys, let me show you the insides. Made a little video for you, so I'll detail what's going on inside. Let's get it. All right, Raf Gang, now that you've seen the front of it, now you can see the back and all the guts of the arcade. Starting at the top, we have the two LED strips. Going down to represent the blue side and the red side, keeping in the theme of Scorpion Sub-Zero. We have the Shao Kahn painting that I did myself back in 1995, my senior year in high school. And uh, we have the uh, control for the LED lights in the back, and then we have all the wires coming out. And what I did is I, I started with this hole here and had the wires come out, but I found it kind of a great idea to... Uh, bundle them all together and then cut like a, a little u-shape here so i can just lift lift it up uh, when i need to without having to pull the wires out of the hole here so basically all you do is pull this back i have it velcroed instead of doing the uh, traditional uh, screws in there and then basically just lift up just like that and uh, here we go on the inside we have the 20 inch monitor and you've seen the installation video you see how I install it there. We have the power cable, the DVI and two USB power cords for the LED lights. Apologize for it being dark in here guys. Uh, this is the power cord for the uh, marquee and uh, I have the other, we have basically have a three-way three -way power adapter here and I have an extra one here that I'm not using. But the second one will go to the uh, LED button board back there. Um, then I have another LED strip going outside the front above the coin door. You have the two LED lights inside the coin door. Um, and then I have a USB splitter here for the two uh, joysticks, first player, second player. And then I have the uh, wireless USB adapter for the wireless keyboard. Um, and on the inside there, you can see the various power cables. And I have the smart power strip so I can turn on the system with my voice or an app if I want. Uh, this is going to be the uh, HDMI audio uh, extractor. This will extract the audio from the HDMI coming from my PC. Uh, going out via 3.5 millimeter out to my powered speakers. And then the output there is an HDMI out converting to the DVI of the monitor. And then I have another USB hub here for three more USB powered lights uh, for uh, 
yeah, the side two and uh, the one underneath underneath the uh, the riser. Uh, yeah, so that's it uh, for the insides. And then uh, all the wires coming out is the uh, flat HDMI wire, uh, the power cord for the power strip, uh, an extension power cord going out to the speakers and subs, and uh, another USB and 3.5 cable. And uh, yeah, that is it there. And uh, let's go back to uh, the arcade. All right, Raf gang, so I'm about to start the arcade fun here. So basically I get my keyboard ready, turn it on, got my mouse, double click the big box icon, and here we go. pretty awesome so I have a variety of opening themes that you can download from various people that have made them and you can uh, make them randomly appear as you turn on big box every time so it's always a different opening uh, when I play uh, play the arcade so pretty awesome uh, big box launch box uh, great great software and it is absolutely a necessity a perfect complement to your modded arcade and to categorize all your games to play. So we have arcade games. We got Atari Jaguar. We got the Mugens. And those are crazy, by the way. Mugen games, hundreds of characters fighting each other. It's crazy. N64. Got some Nintendo DS up in here. Nintendo. Nintendo GameCube, Sega 32X, Sega CD, Dreamcast, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System. I never had that one. I had the original wider one, yeah. Sega Saturn. Oh, yeah. Primal Rage. And of course, my beloved Neo Geo. Of course. PlayStation. PlayStation 2. And some PlayStation 3. Super Nintendo. SNES. Contra 3. Super Castlevania. Oh, magnificent. And some Windows games. Yes, you can play Windows games through Steam in the arcade. And I'm looking forward to Street Fighter VI right here. So, uh, yeah, let's go to arcade. Go ahead and click that. We get our arcade games here. Now, these are my favorites because you can actually hit the star. And these are all my favorite games so far that I've picked. Otherwise, you can go alphabetical. And, of course, since we have Mortal Kombat Arcade, we're going to play... Of course, Mortal Kombat 1. Give it to me. <laughs> it even has that little uh, outline of the, uh, the monitor there. That's so cool. We're going to give some tokens. We're going to start it. Love this player select music. That's my guy. Give it to me. Love these speakers. I love the subs. Here we go. Oh, 
Love it. Now, if I want to, uh, oh, Sub Zero, I've got to play Sub Zero. Come on, I can't leave. You're going down. So if you want to uh, stop the game and, and, and play something else, that's all you got to do. Boom. Go back to the main screen. Back it up. Let's go MK2. And now we have the official marquee game. Marquee game of the Raft Cave Arcade Mortal Kombat 2. Let's go. Just like that. is Mortal Kombat 2. So I have uh, MK3, of course, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, it, it, come on, come on. Sub-Zero's combo, guys, it's the best. fatality all right guys so you know this i got them all guys these games are great look at robocop oh where's the shadow shadow dancer one of my favorite games come on let's go let's go just a little bit of shadow dancer show you this real quick because i love ninja games and shadow dancer is awesome i gotta finish this game man love this game Send my doggy out, go get him. Love the music. Let's do a ninja magic. Love it. Love it. Love the background, the artwork, the theme. Beautiful. Big box, fantastic. All right, so arcade games, absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, wow. There's there's just so much, guys. How about um, uh, where is that fighting game that I just I just got working? What that was um, where where was that? 
Was it PlayStation 2? Fist of the North Star? Oh yeah, Fist of the North Star. Hok Hokutuko no Ken. Hokuto no Ken. This game. Fist of the North Star. Let's go. PlayStation 2. Come on. Raf Cave Arcade. Let's get it. Let's go. Look at that. What? What? Let's go. That's right. Load up, baby. Load it up. Sega. Remember that? Beautiful. Hokuto no Ken. Oh, yeah. Hokuto. There's my guy Ken. Let's go. Genjiro. Genjiro. versus Mr. Hart. Nice. Yokai Butaku. Buto Butamu Eike. Kito Buta Atsukai Suru to wa ii dogyo jannai ka. What'd you say? The time of retribution. Battle 1. Decide the destiny. Yeikin! So yeah, that's uh, that's PlayStation. So very very cool stuff. I mean, guys, awesome, awesome stuff. Mugen. So if you go in the Mugen, um, now these are games that that people have made, and they and they let everybody enjoy them. It's just it's all up to your imagination. What characters you want to put in here? Uh, one of the coolest games I've gotten here. I think it's. Um, is it Mortal Kombat New Era? I think this is the one. New Era. Yeah, so this is like the, the type of Mugen game that you can download and play that people make and, and, and provide to youth community. Games like this where you have just hundreds and hundreds of characters from like Bruce Lee to John Jean Claude Van Damme to Razor Ramon, rest in peace, Undertaker, Homer Simpson, Ronald McDonald, Robocop. Pinhead. I mean, it's crazy. All the bosses, everything. It's just so cool, these Mugen games where you can just uh, try them out and have fun. You know, the what ifs, right? Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed uh, the Raft Cave Arcade. If you do, slap the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And comment below if any questions. And uh, will you, if you want to see more of these demonstration videos, what games do you want me to play for you? Let me know. Because I'll, I'll, I'll make videos and I'll play games for you because I love playing. There's so many games I want to try out. Uh, but I love this thing, uh, labor of love, and it's a beautiful thing. Having an arcade in your home is fantastic. I forgot to mention I got the plugs, uh, little plugs for the holes in the side. Plug those up so you don't see the screws. This finishes up the look. I love this thing. It's beautiful. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Home theater rules. I love this arcade. Mwah.
It's awesome. It's here. It's mine. Wrath out. See you guys.